Hey guys, so I know I'm filming my intro in a different place right now. I'm really in a rush because I'm actually late to grad. So I gotta go really quick, but um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. It's basically about my um, grad get ready with me and you guys just watch me kind of like do my hair and makeup. The camera cuts out while my hair is getting done, so I'm sorry about that, but you get to see most of it. Um, I just straightened and then curled it. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you so much for supporting me. And yeah, let's just get right into it. Okay, so today is the day that I graduate. And I'm so excited, obviously, but I am also kind of tired because I woke up at like 3.30 a.m. I went back to sleep, but I like woke up for like an hour and I couldn't stop thinking about how like I had to say goodbye to all of my friends and not even people that I necessarily talk to all the time, but just people that like meant so much to me, those people, and then also just the people that like, you know, may have not really touched my life that much, but I'm probably never gonna see them again just because I'm not really like friends with them, but they still are faces that I'm used to seeing and I don't know, I'm just getting like very sad about it. Um, and one of my best friends, I have to say bye to her on Friday because I leave for orientation, which I'm super excited about. And then she leaves like while I'm gone and then when I come back like a week later, she's gone already um, and she's staying in the states until she starts school so i don't see her till december and she's somebody that you know has been at the same school as me since preschool um, and she's one of my best friends and so that's also really rough i don't know i'm just kind of ranting but i'm very sad right now <laughs> and um yeah so the makeup that i put on today is really gonna have to live through a lot of tears that's also kind of why i got eyelash extensions because um two reasons why i got them one because um if i cry a lot my lashes will still look good and two because there were so many like things that were happening recently like you know like you have to go to nice dinners and then graduation and all that stuff that i didn't really want to have to do a full face of makeup 100% all the time so whatever i could do to cut that time like in half like getting eyelash extensions and making it easier I was on board with doing so yeah let's just get into what I'm gonna do to my face so I'm just using the mirror from my naked two to like look at my face and decide oh my gosh I have a pimple right here and I think it's just because I've been stressed lately um, which is like fitting if you see like balloons float around, like my sister um, decorated my room. Um, I took some of the balloons out of the room just for filming because I knew they were going to fly around and make sounds and like hit the camera and stuff. But I left some in um, that I just didn't feel like moving. So if they float around, that's why. So right now I'm using this Sephora brush and I'm actually going to do my brows. You guys know, I'm going to bring you a little closer. Um, you guys know that I don't really do my brows very often um, because I have naturally thick brows but for today just because I'm focusing more on like the face I just want to fill in some sparse spots and I just got them done so I'm just using oh you can see the camera hello I'm using this color right here um, and then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna do my eyes after I do my entire face because I don't have to worry about putting fake eyelashes on anymore so because like I have eyelash extensions so I'm gonna use the professional primer I always use it um, and I just wanted to thank you guys a lot for the amount of support that I got on my college video it's my most viewed video on my channel right now which I mean I expected it to get a lot of views but definitely not as much views as it got because compared to my other videos it's really kind of soaring um, and I've gotten a lot of questions like on Instagram as well like Instagram DMs and then comments on the video so I think I might do like a college Q&A soon talking about kind of like maybe my scores or like what you guys are interested in hearing um, because I've gotten questions and I've answered those questions for those people but I'm not sure if more people have them so if you have any questions about like my college experience um like whether like applying and how that went specifically or just about like me in general and like my extracurriculars and stuff like I could talk about that too if you're interested I'm gonna put this concealer on this is the um, Maybelline Fit Me concealer and I'm just gonna put this on the areas that I have redness before I put foundation because I have been very red lately and um, yeah I've just been my skin's been looking kind of dull I think it's because I haven't been getting 
as much sleep as I would like to get. Just being completely candid, like, yeah. So next I'm using the CoverGirl Outlast Concealer. This is basically the only thing that I ever use on my face, as a lot of you guys know. Um, so I'm just gonna put some of this on the back of my hand. Like so, and then I'm going to put it all over my face. <laughs> it's pretty self-explanatory. I really don't feel like I have to explain that. Dark circles are genetic, so I have to be extra with the concealer on my face to cover up all the stuff that I have going on. And if I'm going to something special, like graduation, um, I need to put two layers on because lots of pictures are gonna be taken and one layer just isn't enough to cover it in pictures, unfortunately. Which is so weird, because I'm so, like, I'm, I'm young, like I'm 18, you know? And usually, like, you don't really have to do that until you get older, um, but for me, it's just, it's so dark underneath my eyes that, like, I really do have to do that. So I just want to go wet my beauty blender, and I'm just gonna dab it. I did most of the blending with the brush, but this kind of airbrushes it. And for me, sometimes my skin isn't like the smoothest. And so this makes it appear a lot smoother than it actually is. So I'm gonna take the Tarte Shape Tape and I'm gonna put this underneath my eyes. And then I'm gonna put this on here and then around my nose. This is the same concealer that I used from before. And um, I'm gonna have a little notification of this sometime in the video, but just a reminder that all the products that I use are always linked down below so you guys can check them out. I'm going to move this around my nose and then what I'm going to do, geez, I'm going to take this which is the L'Oreal Visible Lift and I'm going to roll some of this and I'm going to put this underneath my brows. I know this seems like a lot of product but again I like doing makeup so this gives your brows a lift and it also brings the focus a bit to your eyes without actually adding like glitter. ASAP. Okay, I put a bit too much of this underneath my eyes just then because I wasn't paying attention. I was talking to you guys. So we're gonna have to wipe that. Um yeah. And then I'm just going to use my handy den dendy handy dandy beauty blender. Blend that. So the next thing, I'm going to take the Anastasia Anastasia um, loose powder, and I'm just going to put some in the cap, and then I'm going to take a separate sponge and just bake underneath my eyes. Okay. Okay. I'm going to bake my nose too. Why don't I just bake my entire face, right? Because like, I'm going to have to wear this all day. I'm just putting it on the areas that like need to bake that pimple put it all over so next is contour um, I'm not using cream contour today I know that it's like a special occasion I probably should but this look is more um, glowy and less bronzy I would say so I'm just going to contour quite a bit with just the hula bronzer and the brush it comes with like that right in the yeah. okay and then on my forehead really get into the hairline like that do not be afraid and don't put it here that doesn't look good it like closes off your face blend with it and then I also apply some of the product to my to the brush and then I apply some more of it on and this kind of creates like a bronzer ombre effect where it's like centralized here but then it like spreads out this large brush right here and I'm going to take this eggshell -y color called WOF from the Naked Basics palette and I'm just going to put it all over my lid. I'm going to take this e.l.f. eyeshadow brush, um, kind of like a dome, and I'm going to take my Hoola bronzer and I'm going to put it in my crease. If you 
can see that. Yeah, perfect. I was nervous about that, but it ended up going okay. Like I said, I do not want a strong highlight or, um, I want like a dewy look, but I, I don't want it to look like I put makeup on. Like, you know how like, sometimes when you do a makeup look, like you want glitters, you want people to notice that you have makeup on. For this, like obviously it looks like I have makeup on, but I don't want it to look um, too unnatural, just because this is like a nicer event. Um, and I'm gonna take the same brush that I used Hula with, and I'm just going to take this bright pink right here. It's very bright. You do have to be careful because sometimes this palette, because the colors are so opaque, come out really, really strong. So have like a light hand if you're using these colors. Um, I'm using a lighter blush today because I am doing like a daytime look, right? So I don't want to use a berry color or anything like that. I want a very light, natural color. Take the RMS Beauty Highlight, and I'm just going to put it on my nose, on the um, what are you, what are you, cheekbone. Oh my god. How do I forget that? So I'm going to put it on the tip of my nose, my cheekbone, and then just my Cupid's bow. I'm just going to highlight with it. So then I take the highlight um, that I used on the side of my nose and I put it on this kind of lip brush. I don't really use lip products that need like a lip brush with them, so it's a great product to use for this instead. I put it in my inner corner, and then I also put it underneath my brow bone. I haven't put it on my nose yet. I need to do that, but um, yeah, so I'm paint it on here, and then I just dab kind of flatten it out. This is one of the few highlights I can use on my nose without looking like like too much like Rudolph. Um, this is one of my favorite products. I think if you are to get anything out of this video, um, like purchase it yourself, this is definitely the one you should purchase. And then I'm going to take the Better Than Sex Mascara, not on my eyelash extensions, but on my lower lashes because it's waterproof. So if I cry today, it is okay. After some digging, I found the lip color that I wanted to use. Um, this is Max Velvet Teddy. I love this color. Um, Kylie Jenner actually used to use this color before she started her own lip line. Um, and also a tip, if you like to have like your lips match your blush, you can always use your lipstick like as a blush, like dab it on and then like use it as a creamy color. But for today, I'm pretty happy with the blush that I'm using. So. Um, or the blush that I used so I didn't do that but if you don't have a lot of blushes and you just kind of feel like buying a lip color then just use the lip color as a blush um, yeah I'm just kind of putting this on this is not a um, like matte lip cream or anything so it's going to come off pretty easily so I'm gonna bring this with me so this is the finished makeup look, and then I'm going to do my hair. I'm not sure what I want to do with my hair yet, so I'm going to have to wait and decide. Okay, so this is like a completely new angle to me, but I'm going to try it, um, because last time I filmed here, I was really disappointed with the way it turned out, like showing how I did my hair. So um, I'm going to speed it all up because it's going to take forever if I don't. But basically what I'm just going to do is I'm going to try to split my hair into sections and then straighten it and then um, decide if I want to curl it.
Okay, so my curling iron, this is actually a new one. I've never used it before, so I'm super excited. I wanted one that had a bigger barrel on it um, so I could get like bigger curls versus, you know, smaller curls. Um, so this is my new one. It's by Phillips and I'm heating it up to 160. Hey guys, so I'm so sorry I have to film this outro in a rush, but thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, the camera went out when I was curling my hair, but this is kind of what it looks like. Um, and yeah, so I have to head to grad. I'm kind of already late. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed. And um, yeah, um, thank you so much. And I can't wait for you guys to stay tuned to my next adventure. Um, bye guys.